Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nave. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a video, I, a certain video I made a few months ago. So this video is the how to fix the Intel i2-11 network drivers. Today, I'm going to be highlighting the fact that I've been getting many comments that are very similar to this, uh, where it's like, uh, I can't fix my drivers because it requires me to go to go onto the internet and my computer doesn't connect to the internet. How do I fix it? So I'm not going to try to single out this person in particular. I'm just using this person as an example. So you know who you are. Uh, and, you know, I'm just going to use you as an example. So the thing about this video is that I am actually in the right over here because I actually, if, if I remember correctly, I actually explain in the video that there are many ways to get around this problem where if you don't have the internet, how do you connect to the internet without the internet? It's, it's sort of like, uh, how do you get to point B without go going from point A to B, you know, or the other way around, however you want to explain it. The thing is, is that it's actually very simple. There are so many ways around this problem. But people just refuse to uh, think about it. And that's something that's been bothering me lately because I've been getting more and more comments about this where it's either, oh, thank you, you helped me fix this problem. Or it'd be something along the lines of, uh, how am I supposed to go on the internet if I don't have the internet? Well, the second, the second response, it, it, it becomes evident that you did not watch the video because I've clearly explained how to get around this problem. So I'm just going to make this really, this really quick video to say, here are like three or four solutions to that. So number one, it's very simple, but it's called going onto another computer or another computer that can connect to the internet. You could even do this on your phone, I believe. If you have a USB or if you have external hard drive, you can just go to your phone, send, like you download the, uh, the drivers onto your phone you just you just put the exe on your phone then from the exe on your phone send it to your computer for using the usb or the hard drive that way so you could go phone hard drive and then hard drive to computer you could still open it up on normally you just gotta try you just gotta try a little bit so that's the first one it's just going to another device downloading it there and then sending it the old school way via USB. The second way is to just connect your computer temporarily by Ethernet cord. So let's say you're using Wi Fi to fix these drivers and nothing is working for Wi Fi. Try Ethernet, even if it means moving your whole computer just to your internet, be it your modem router modem router thing or whatever you use move it just right next to it temporarily it doesn't take long it literally takes less than 20 minutes to do it's a few megabytes so no, no no the drivers is about a gigabyte so if you have really really slow internet just try it just put it there for an hour let's say the third one hotspot if your internet adapters are not working for your internet itself what you could try doing is just hotspotting. It's it's kind of weird, but in a way, it might actually work. So let's say it's not actually your adapter's fault, and it's just your internet's fault. Let's say your internet's the one that's cutting in and out. Then you just hotspot. Yeah, you'll use about you'll use a few megabytes to a gigabyte of downloading, but it's still better than nothing. The fourth way of doing this, it's a more extreme way of doing things. It's getting a hard drive that you could send the files into or you can have someone send the files into and then either, I don't know, if you live across the world from them, ship it to you or you can just copy it onto a hard drive and then just bring it home or something along those lines. So basically, you take your hard drive or your SSD out of your computer put it in someone else's computer send all of the files there install it via someone else's computer and then take that hard drive or SSD out of the other computer and then come back home and put it on yours. And you could co copy it as much as you want. These are just four solutions that you could do for this problem. 
So it's not the end of the world. It just takes work to do. It's honestly pretty brain dead to think about, but I don't get why some people cannot wrap their head around the fact that all you have to do is install it or get the exe from another source and just bring it to your computer. It makes no sense. Anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video, get it out of the way, because it's been bothering me. Who knows, maybe I'm just the brain dead one. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.